I'm a little bit more story of a dark skinned boy, a lad who rose to fame. A fair dinkum Australian who took up the fighting game. Though he was just a youngster when he first told the line, he soon became a champion, the greatest of all time. He was born and raised in Gippsland up in dear old Druin town. This true son of Australia, he was headed for renown. Though his dear old dad had passed on and was laid in sweet repose He fought to keep his family, this boy called Lionel Rose He would hitchhike down to Melbourne just to see George Bracken fight And to see his idol winning, it would fill him with delight He told the stadium doctor he was going to fight someday The doctor then examined him and said, well, you're okay at the age of 16, he just missed the Olympic Games. He found himself a manager, Jack Rennie is his name. His fights he kept on winning, only twice he never won. But he took the crown from Cundy, this Australian darky's son. Well, they bought them out from Europe, from America and Japan. They tried to take his title, but Al Lionel made his stand. With his lightning left and right cross, he would belt him to the floor. And I guess it was the finish for those boys forevermore. Then Jack Rennie got the message from way over in Japan. For the world bantamweight title, Lionel had to meet their man. A real tough little rooster fighting a rider is his name. And for 15 rounds of boxing, well, he showed us he was game. But the Drew and Dazzler showed them all his toughness and his speed. Arada's face just couldn't stop connecting his left lead. For the 15 rounds of boxing, it was really quite a whirl. And they crowned Rose of Australia, the new champion of the world. Yes, they crowned Rose of Australia, the new champion of the world. 